guys it is nick and we are here to start a new series on mlb the show 18 we're gonna be playing a red Sox uh series here and this will be going up at least every monday there may be other episodes here and there throughout the week but it will always go up on monday uh so look forward to these on monday but in this episode, we're going to get through spring training. We're going to do some trades. I'm just going to adjust the Red Sox and do some trades that I think, um, you know, just kind of make them my own Red Sox. So let's hop into doing the trade. We'll, we'll, we'll sign some people first. So first of all, we need to cut the garbage uh, players that are on the team, like Danny Bethea here. We gotta, we gotta release you. You're out. Mike Ullman, you're out. That's fine. I don't care. I, I'll pay the salaries for, for this year. Mike Olt, you gotta get out of here. We'll, we'll go into a little debt this year. Carlos Franco, you, you definitely, you gotta go. Um. John Tez Witt, you got to get out of here. Uh, probably should release Ivan De Jesus Jr. Let's see. Chris Marrero. Get him out of here. Rosny Castillo. Kind of want to keep him around, but he's. Ne I'm never going to call him up, so it it's time to to cut him. I like how JD is only an 88, according to th <laughs> this. is like updated rosters because we got Steve Pierce and whatnot, so these aren't like old rosters, but JD Martinez is an 88 is funny. It's pretty laughable. Okay, William Cuevas, you got to go. They don't have a lot of old. Like, these are all pretty young. I don't need to release them. Austin Maddox, you're just terrible. Cut you. Kyle Martin, you're getting old. Josh Smith. I wonder how much money I'm going to owe players that I've just up and released. Marcus Walden, you're out of here. Ryan Bra Brazier, you're out of here. Fernando Rodriguez. Is this the... This is not who I was thinking it was. All right, you're definitely out of here. You're 33. Get out of here. Tommy Lane. You're out of here. Someone might actually pick you up off of waivers. All right, so now we can go to free agency. And we can pick up... There's usually some young guys. Yes, uh, he's he's kind of bad. Like Jay Knight here. Sign him. I want to look for the ones that are a little bit better. Like here, Ronald Peck. Greg Bowie, no. Could sign Hanley back. Michael E. Noah. Could be interesting to bring him back. Or not bring him back, but sign him. I mean, he was kind of bad. He was bad last year. Not kind of. He was bad last year. He's only 26. Have a little bit of room to improve. Probably end up signing Trevor Rosenthal. There's usually some diamond in the rough A prospects. He's 18. I'm going to sign him. He's not like a superstar, but... See potential 19 and he's already 71 overall. We'll take a shot on him. Rosenthal and Zitch are the same age, and they're, but Rosenthal has A potential. So I'll probably go ahead. Usually there's an A potential closer, but there's not this time. Houston Street's still available. Uh, Fernando Trevino. Can sign him. Miguel, we could sign Miguel Montero. Um, first base. 
I'm also just looking briefly to see Chuck Downey. Not as many uh, prospects in this. A lot of the times when I start these up, there's like a million prospects that are. We'll sign him. Eh? He's only 19. Fairly decent already. These guys are like terrible down there. Uh, check you. No short stops. Ethier and Upton are available still. Sign Felix Cabrera. There we go. Ronald Mesa. B potential. Alright, so one more position to f look at here. Seth Smith is available. Michael Bourne. There's some interesting guys available. So now, let's get into trading. So the plans for this series is probably to do like three quick manage series. And then we'll play a game. And then we'll quick manage the rest of that series. So it'll be like three series, one series type of, type, type of deal going on here so i want to get drew pomeranz out of here uh as well as rick porcello uh, i kind of want to upgrade so i'm gonna try to package stephen wright and rick porcello together uh brian johnson serviceable uh but i'm gonna go ahead and try to find a trade could almost get chris archer um I'm looking for, like, I want to do semi-realistic. I mean, they don't have to be, like, massive really realistic, but I do want to have, like, you know, like, oh, this team, you know, is bad. Like, they trade. Uh, the Mets are really bad in real life. They want to trade DeGrom and Syndergaard. I don't have enough to actually trade for them. Nova is probably tradable. Nova will be traded in real life, probably. Oh, well, maybe not. I don't know. The Pirates are whatever. Nova hasn't been terrible. He hasn't been good either. Tywin Walker had surgery this year. In real life, they really hate John Gray. In the game, not so much. Tyson Ross would be interesting. He kind of fixed his mechanics in real life, so I'm not entirely sure how he'd be in the game. But if they'd give me... Wait, will you give me Rick Porcel? Oh, okay. Might be able to throw in a little, little prospect in here with Tyson Ross. Yeah, I could get Logan Allen. Mackenzie Gore is, like, one of their top prospects. Um... Okay, Logan Logan Allen and Tyson Ross for Rick Porcello. I think I'm going to make that trade. Fresh move on from Rick Porcello. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Tyson Ross, bring him in for Rick Porcello. Now we got to trade Drew Pomeranz. I probably should have tried to trade Drew Pomeranz back to the Padres. Oh, let's see. What about Pomeranz right and oh ho, ho, ho. Drew Pomeranz, Stephen Wright, and Blake Swihart for Chris Archer. I'm gonna make this trade. We go into the negative for cash flow, but uh, I'm fine. So now we have Sale, Price, Archer, Tyson Ross, and Eduardo Rodriguez. So that means I can try to trade Brian Johnson. And then I want to try to deal for... Um, for Teoscar Hernandez. He's one of my favorite players uh, in real life. So I want to try to tr deal for him here. 
Um, I don't know. I don't think I'm going to be able to get this done. It's really close. Probably just got to get rid of Brian. Get rid of Brian Johnson and just put a prospect in there. Put an outfield prospect in there. I don't really want to trade Mitch Moreland. Could send him Sam Travis. So Sam Travis, Tanner Hook, Jay Groom for Teoscar Hernandez. I'll do it. I'll do it. Okay. So, not they don't use Sam Travis in real life. I don't really care about using him in-game. So now it's the question of do I trade Ben Benintendi or do I trade Jackie Bradley? So I'm going to trade Pedroia. He's 13 million and I need to save some money. So who really needs a second baseman? Because I got Nunez and I got Brock Holt. Who would needs a second baseman? Like, come on, Jonathan VR is an 84 in this game. Okay, I could salary relief him to the Cardinals. I think I'll probably salary release him to the relief him to the Cardinals. That's out to the Dodgers. We could get we could take Chase Utley. Chase Utley announced he's going to retire after this season. Uh, Gliber Torres is an 87. Okay. Better than Kipnis. I think I'm gonna... I'm gonna send him to the Cardinals. He'll start for the Cardinals. It's salary relief for us. Can I... Oh, I can throw in a prospect, too. So let me... Let me get a starting pitching prospect back. Let's do that, and then... Give me John Gant. Oh, Gant's expensive. Um, how about Junior Fernandez? Okay, so Colton Wong, Ryan Helsey, Junior Fernandez for Dustin Pedroia. Clear up some cap space. Nunez is kind of expensive, too. Uh, Moreland is really cheap, so is Steve Pierce. I'm not going to trade them. Uh, let's see. So I need to get some relief pitching. So let's take a look at some of the relief pitchers in real life that would be available. I'm going I'm going to go off of like real life. Okay, so this team is really bad. They're probably going to look to trade. Would be interested in Joaquin Soria. Joe Kelly in game is kind of bad. Um My relief pitchers are really fairly priced. Um, so, let's see. The Mets are who... Are, where are the Mets? I want A.J. Ramos. I just like A.J. Ramos, the pitcher. Why is A.J. Ramos, like... Why is A.J. Ramos cost so much? I can't trade these new guys I signed, so I gotta figure out which guys are the new guys. Uh, let's see. Rock Holt can fill in everywhere, which is really nice. So I gotta figure out exactly... I can't believe AJ Ramos is a 75 overall. I feel like he should be a little bit better. Okay, so how about I give you Joe Kelly, Robbie Scott... 66 overall in this game and right there okay there we go that'll get it done for aj ramos so let's bring on ramos the mets are like the gold mine of oh this guy is mediocre probably on the trade block mm -hmm. uh let's see Relief pitchers. How old? They part ways with Rysel. 
I know he wouldn't be my closer. But man, going Rysel into Kimbrel would be so nice. Alright, Brian Johnson, how can you? Okay, you get me kind of close. I can't actually... Hmm. I think we should be getting more. Jackie... I could trade Jackie Bradley for Rysel Iglesias. What else would you give me in a... Would you... Could have the... If money didn't exist... Okay, so Scooter is like... Oh, Scooter, Scooter's not that high. Taylor Trammell? Wait, where's Amir Garrett? Take Amir Garrett. It's Amir... Okay, Amir Garrett's a... Amir Garrett's actually not worth that much. Hold on. Ben Intendi's like the god tier trade. Devers is like god tier trade too. Okay, so Michael Ch offer Michael Ch ooh ooh. I think that's I think this is it. Michael Chavez, Brian Johnson. I can pretty much just trade anybody. Yeah, Danny Mars. We'll trade Danny Mars, Brian Johnson, Michael Chavez, and Danny Mars for Amir Garrett and Rice Iglesias. Okay, that's a good trade. I'm happy with that. So now i got to figure out if I have too many pitchers. Probably going to have to trade Bobby Pointer and Heath Embry. Just because... Uh, uh, hmm. Okay, let's do it this way. So, let's set up our... Let's try to... Let's set up our 40, man. Okay, let's set up our 40, man. So, Jalen Beeks would get to AAA. Okay, so there are four st or five starters. So, Sale, Price, Archer, Ross, and Erod. You would go to AAA. And Hembry. Hembry, stay for now. Hector Velasquez, you go to AAA. Carson Smith, Thornburn. Matt Barnes, Ramos, Pointer. Okay, so right now, okay. So I'll probably trade, I'll probably trade a lot of those because Kimbrel and Iglesias, Iglesias will be mad because he's not the closer. But okay, we're good here. You can be in Double A. I I guess I have to carry two. I'll carry two catchers. So I have 33 people on the on the on the active roster. Brandon Phillips go to triple. Go to triple A. You go to single A. And you go to double A. Zue Lin does not need to be up. And then you can go to class A. And in ten, okay. You can stay in triple. Felix, you go to double. Kyrie, you go to single. Okay, triple A, double A, double A, single A. Okay, thirty-one people on the active roster. Okay, but for my relief pitchers, I expect my starters to go a long way. So if I get rid of Pointer and Hembry, that brings us down to 29. I have a... So, okay. Yeah, we're just going to trade. Try to find... So I want to trade Pointer and Hembry. Can I just get some prospects out of this? Who needs relief pitching? Hold on, who's just got some gar... The, the Rays have some terrible relief pitching. Could get Joaquin Soria. Um, 
right there. There it is for Joaquim Soria. All right, we'll we'll bring in Soria. We'll bring in Soria. I understand that puts me at negative money, but I'm going to trade uh I'm going to trade Thornburg. Because it depends on what my return is. So right now... Let's see. Let's see. Brad Brock. I probably want prospects, right? I want prospects. So I can get some B prospects. If someone offers me an A prospect, I'll take it and run. Hmm. That's not a bad offer. Starting pitcher and a first baseman prospect. I'm not sure I quite want to... Hmm. It's interesting. Okay, so... Hmm. I can probably... We go Thornburg, because Carson Smith's the better relief pitcher. Carson Smith and Matt, or Car Carson, Tyler Thornburg and Matt Barnes, because that would give me Smith, Ramos, Soria, Garrett, so that's four or five. That'd give me six if I trade these two for prospects. It'd also clear up money. Wander Samuel. Oh, baby. I gotta do this trade. I gotta take... Give me Shane Bieber. I, I'm... <laughs> oh my gosh. Ronnie Rodriguez. Ronnie Rodriguez won me some money in DFS. I can't really make fun of Ronnie Rodriguez. Yeah, we're taking Shane Bieber. Give me, give me Shane Bieber. Give me the Biebs. Give me Shane Bieber. Shane Bieber is actually nice in real life, like, like, not like as, I don't know, he might be nice as a human, I'm talking like his game is nice in real life, so, give me, give me Shane Bieber, gives me some prospects, clear some money, okay, so, now what are we looking at, how many, how many people am I over now, okay, so starting pitchers, gotta make sure that I only have five, okay, so just, oh, these guys don't need get to double A. Double A, double A. Okay, we're at 25. We're at 25 now. I have a lot of position players. I don't know how the heck I'm ever going to play all of these guys, but if we have one bad game where I could go the bullpen, and I don't know how I'm going to play all my outfielders, I should probably package... Yeah, there, there's a... Okay. Okay, Mets. Let's talk Mets. So. I don't really want to... Alright, hold on. Where are the Mets? Where's the Mets? This is this is a real-life trade. Cindergard is wow. Cindergard is a lot younger than Degrom. Probably trade for Cindergard in life, but they're both on the final years of their deal. All right, they would give me m <laughs> the ultimate weird trade. Okay, so they give me Degrom. I mean, I'm pretty much going to be able to ask for anybody in the game I want, right? Yeah, if I offer up Benintendi, I can get anybody. I can get even Kershaw, probably, if budgetary constraints weren't a thing. I mean, like, even Ronaldo Lopez doesn't even come close. Like, I could probably get... Uh, uh, I could almost get Yohan Moncada back. 
Uh, Kigeto Tani. Sean Manaya. Yeah, I could literally get anybody in the game I want. That, ben Intendi has like the most insane trade value. Hmm. Hmm. I could play Mookie at second. I think that's what I'm going to do is I'm going to play Mookie at second. JD is the DH and then three outfielders. So that me. Okay. Okay. Okay, so I feel like I should trade Brock, Brock Holt just to do the right thing for Brock Holt. Man, my first... Moreland and Pierce are so terrible in this game. Like, they're not that bad in real life, but... I might make Eduardo Nunez play first and just see if he can play first. But man, Pierce and Moreland are terrible in this game. Might trade Pierce for a reliever. We're going to trade Pierce for a reliever. There's got to be a, like, a mediocre reliever that someone can trade me. Can I? I can't specify exactly what I want. Uh, Glass now is a reliever. I do like how they, they up... This guy has not been... Oh, I still have Erod selected. Okay, stop Erod. So this guy has been pretty bad in real life, but might actually be decent in game. Okay, so if I give him Steve Pierce and... A prospect. How about Bronson? Oh, we can't complete the deal right now. Um... I gotta figure, oh, okay, I don't, oh, okay, let's do, let's do this, Ron, oh, Chandler Shepard is still selected, okay, you can take Chandler Shepard, whatever, oh, no, you can take Jake Cozart, okay, so Steve Pierce for Yoshihisa Hirano, I think he's got, like, a 7 ERA or something this year, but we'll make that trade, bring in another relief pitcher, because we really do need more relief pitchers. Okay, so hopefully when they boost their confidence, you know, they'll be better. And so I'm going to try, I know technically, oh, oh, there we go. I figured it out. We'll play Devers at first because Devers can play first. All right, all right, we're, we're good. We're good. I figured it all out. Now, okay, I think we're good. I think we're good. Let's get our pitching rotation. So Sale, Price, where the heck is Chris Archer? Ramos, why are you starting? Okay, so then Archer, Tyson Ross, Eduardo Rodriguez. Okay, so setup, it's always going to be Rysel. I don't need two setups. So, he's actually got... Hirano can be long reliever. He's got some... Him and Garrett can be our long relievers. Garrett wants a starter, obviously. Probably might get another chance at being a starter. I don't know. I guess Carson Smith will put him in the setup man role as well. So there's that. Pitching rotation, pretty easy. Now the lineups. Do we... Okay, we have 25 men on the roster. Good. Okay, so... Leading off, Mookie. Let me set this up first. So, Mookie, Bogarts. This is how I would set it up if I was... Coaching the team. JD. Ben Benintendi. JD. Teoscar... Devers, Moreland, Bradley. Eh, br mm, 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 mm. Yeah, Devers, Moreland, Bradley, Vasquez. Yep, okay. That's good. Okay, this is against right handing. Let me. I really kind of want to platoon my catchers. Yeah, they're both okay being platooned. Okay, yeah. So that's what we're going to do. Okay, so now I got to set them up correct position. So second base for Mookie. Okay, so second base Mookie, shortstop, first base for, oh yeah, I was gonna, we were gonna bench Moreland for Nunez, 
Okay, so we'll do it like this. So Nunez will just bat 7. Okay. I forgot I was going to bench Moreland. I mean, he only wanted a platoon, so it's not like he's too unhappy. Okay. Alright, I like that. So, left field, right field, Bradley gets to play center. I like Jackie Bradley Jr., so I, I, that's why I didn't want to, like, shun him to the... Okay, so JD will play. So that means... Uh, let's see. T. Oscar. I think I'll play T. Oscar against... Or I'll Bradley against lefties, T. Oscar against righties. It's, okay, that's easy. I'm going to do the old, let's put the pitcher at the 8th spot so I can really screw myself up. I'm going to do that. Okay, Mitch Moreland. I'm actually going to have Moreland. Do I want to let Moreland, Moreland play against with no DH? Yeah, Moreland can play first with no DH. I like that. Colton Wong doesn't want to be, like, every day or anything. He wants platoon. You're not even a platoon in real life. Brock Holt, you can definitely not ask for platoon. That's ridiculous. Okay, so I think that's good. Okay, so now to left-handed pitching. So Mookie, Bogarts. I'm going to have Benintendi bat fifth against left-handers, maybe. No, we'll still have him bat third. Who am I missing? Teoscar... Nunez, Devers, Bradley, Vasquez. Yes. Okay. So Mookie needs to play second. Correct position. Correct. Correct. Right field. First, third. Center. Okay. We're good. That's the one thing that's really helpful with Mookie is that you can play him. <laughs> you can play him at second base. So second base... Bogarts is right, left, okay, and then T. Oscar can play center, T. Oscar, fifth, Eduardo Nunez, Devers, Vasquez, okay, I think that's good, so Vasquez plays against lefty, okay, All right, you should be happy now, right, okay. Alright, I'm happy with the lineup, I'm happy, I'm happy. We're 30 minutes into this. It took us 30 minutes, but I think we're good to go. Kind of want to sign Trevor Rosenthal, but we're... How much money... Where's the financial? Where is the financial budget? Here we go. We are... We're, we're making money. Okay, we're making money. Good stuff. Good stuff. We're not losing. I'm happy about that. All right, so... All right, I think we're I think we're all good to go. I mean, I could try. I don't really I don't have anybody left, right? I was gonna say I could try to trade for an upgrade, but I don't really have anybody left to trade. I'd have to trade Zhu Wei Lin, which I don't want to do. I kind of like him. I'd have to trade Marco Hernandez. I can't even trade him. I don't think because he's new. Okay. Does that what does that get me? Does Marco Hernandez and Eduardo Rodriguez get me an upgrade? It gets me Dylan Bundy, Darren O'Day, Christian Arroyo. It gets me an A prospect. It gets me Marcus Stroman. All right, Blue Jays, you got a deal. You got your you got yourself a deal, Blue Jays. If you want to give me Marcus Stroman for that, it's a deal. So Tyson Ross moves down on the order. Stroman is fine with rotation. Everybody fine with this. You're fine with rotation. You're not. Price is probably not. We got three aces that are... Chris Sale is obviously our ace. So uh, I think we're good, though, now. You know, I like the upgrade from Erod to Marcus Stroman. I think that's kind of a... It's not really a fair trade in real life purposes, but... For game purposes, I think it's it's decently fair. 24 B potential. Strowman is 26 B potential. So, I, I like it. I like it. So, in the next episode, we will be good to go. We'll go ahead and we'll sim through spring training here. 
but in the next episode, Cleveland has claimed Jansen Witt. Okay, thank you. Rosny Castillo got claimed by Cleveland. Thanks, Cleveland. What's the important message? Transactions. I just heard the Indians placed relief pitcher Tyler Thornbird on waivers. Have not placed a claim. I'm not going to place a claim on him. I want to look after this and see kind of what our stats were for spring training before I call it a full episode. Okay, so let's go take a look. Statistics, player statistics. Okay, so... JD went JD hit 30 or 333, Benintendi hit 323, Teoscar at 301, New Yanez hit 295, 293 for Devers, Mookie at 277. Six homers. Okay. Bradley at four. Okay. I'm happy with this except for Bogart's hitting 238. What is that? Okay, I'm happy with that. We took some walks. Okay. Uh let's see. Pitching. That's not the pitchers. 188, 125. Strowman got blown up. Archer got. Archer, like, sucks in terms of, like, this game. Like, he always gets blown up for me. Uh, Tyson Ross was okay. Kimbrel got blown up, so. Okay. Oh, look at that. Yoshi Hisa Hirano, no earned. Okay. I see you. Garrett got blown up. Okay. Just spring training. I'm not too worried about anything just yet. So that's the end of spring training. So opening day, Chris Sale against Blake Snell. We'll be firing that bad boy up in the next episode. Like I said, we'll have one of these every Monday. Um, possibility for more, obviously, during the week. But at least one every Monday is the plan. I, 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 gear, I promise that. Every Monday there will be one. Um, and then the plan is to try to get one or two out every week on top of that. But yeah, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed. Drop a like if you did, subscribe if you haven't, and I'll catch you guys in the next episode of uh, the Red Sox. Or the, what was I going to say? The, the Red Sox series here. So I'll catch you guys then. Peace out.